boy, oh boy, oh boy, am I feeling icky. But let's do a recap reaction review of House of the Dragon Episode 4. Everyone is seemingly getting along for once until Damon, unfortunately, just pulls a Damon. He sneaks out uh, with Rhaenyra to the city, and they eventually find their way in a pleasure house where Damon and Rhaenyra both begin fooling around with each other, to put it lightly, and a spy ends up reporting this to Otto, which leads to all kinds of problems. Otto definitely is the loser of this week's episode, for sure, because he is no longer the Hand of the King after Viserys can't trust him with the fact that he had spies watching Rhaenyra in the first place, but Viserys has finally caught up and realizes that this dude is making moves for his house and his house only. Speaking of King Viserys, he's got a lot going on mentally, physically, emotionally, and he's definitely struggling more and more and more as each episode comes out but he now officially banishes Damon yet again and in this intense scene where they they have this conversation and, and confrontation after the whole night out uh, Damon's basically just asking for Rhaenyra's hand in marriage at this point so I mean weird but I respect Damon just coming right out and and putting his request out there Rhaenyra, after having some fun in this episode, to say the least, and also beginning to figure out how to play the Game of Thrones a little bit, is now set to marry Laenor Valerian to unite those two powerful houses and basically to fix Viserys not doing that earlier in this show. And my final takeaway here, Alicent, I feel like the scene where she confronts Rhaenyra about the night out with Daemon is going to come back and be very meaningful later in this series. Allison is putting a lot of trust and hope in Rhaenyra's word, and I just have a feeling that this friendship, and I'm already saying quote-unquote friendship there, is going to fall apart real quick, and it's going to get real, real, real ugly. Even though this episode has me feeling very icky still, like I said at the top of this video, I still really enjoyed this episode. It is really setting the stage for a very dramatic conclusion to this season. And I just, like I said, all the drama that's just building up between all of these characters. I'm hanging on to every single piece of dialogue. There was there was really no action in this week's episode, and I didn't mind it in the slightest. I'm just loving hearing the conversations, the game, the chess pieces beginning to be moved. But you let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments. If you want more House of the Dragon content, be sure to hit that follow button and hit that like button and leave a comment, like I said. Peace.